In the previous few videos, we have been discussing different types of decisions and how to approach them. If you recall, in the most recent video, I talked about how to approach a low harm decision. The basic idea was that in such situations, we try to maximize the expected value. The example we discussed had to do with a very simple gambling problem. So all of the probabilities of the outcomes were known. In this video, I would like to discuss this issue with an example that is more applicable to everyday life. Suppose you buy a new camera and a company offers insurance or a warranty on the camera. Say the camera costs $200 and the company sells a 3-year warranty for $50. So if you buy the warranty and the camera breaks in the next 3 years, they will replace it. How do they come up with the price of $50? Based on their own available statistics, the company estimates the probability of a camera being broken. Say in this case, it is 1 over 5 or 20%. If they sell the camera to 1,000 people, on average, 200 of those cameras will break. What is their expected value they could gain from selling warranties? Let X be the company's profit per customer. 4 out of 5 people will not break their camera. So they are simply gaining $50 from 4 out of 5 people who buy the warranty. They lose $200 for every 1 out of 5 people whose camera breaks. They have collected only $50 from these people. So at the end of the day, they will lose $150 from each person who breaks their camera. So the expected value of X is 50 times 4 over 5 minus 150 times 1 over 5 which is $10. This is why companies sell warranties. They know that, due to the law of large numbers, they will make money from it, not lose it. Now, as a customer, should I buy the warranty? Let's say that if I don't buy the insurance, my profit will be X, and if I do buy it, my profit will be Y. If I don't buy the warranty, two things could happen. Either I break the camera, or I don't. If I don't break it, Nothing happens, so the profit is $0 with a probability of 4 over 5. On the other hand, if I do break it without having bought the insurance, I will lose $200, which is the replacement cost. This will happen with a probability of 1 over 5. If the expected value of X is 4 over 5 times 0 minus 200 times 1 over 5, which is minus $40. However, if I buy the insurance, I don't care what happens. At the end of the day, my profit will still be minus $50. Here, the expected value of X, which is minus $40, is higher than the expected value of Y, which is minus $50. So, X is the option I should go with. That is, I should not buy the warranty. This was somehow clear from the beginning because the company is making $10 on average for each customer who buys the insurance. Therefore, in this situation, the company has essentially already done the math for you. They know that on average, they will make money and the customer who buys the insurance will lose money on average. Therefore, although losing $200 to replace your camera may be painful at the time, it is not financially devastating, so you should take the risk and not buy the warranty. In this situation in real life, of course, you wouldn't know the exact probabilities of breaking the camera. But the fact that the company sells the insurance at that rate tells you that they know they will make money from it. Additionally, it is important to keep in mind that this approach to decisions only applies to low-stakes scenarios wherein the potential harm would not be devastating to you. Situations such as homeowners insurance, on the other hand, should be dealt with in a completely different manner, which we will discuss later on. These past couple of examples were somewhat easy in the sense that they dealt with money and finances, so the values were particularly simple to quantify in, in terms of dollars. In later videos, we will discuss how to approach real-life decisions that are not quite as clear. Thank you for watching.